Hello everybody, I am Lucy Kennedy and I have some very exciting news. Now a lot of you won't be shocked because I have been obsessed with this company for years and years to the point of sometimes even stalking them. But I can officially announce today that I am the new brand ambassador for iClothing. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited and they are a brilliant company. They're so reliable, they've got so much stock and uh, yeah, it's, it's the perfect marriage. Well, I, I love, duh, the red off the shoulder dress that I wore for the Gossies when I won Best Female Presenter. <clears throat> and uh, it was so comfy and it hugged me right in because I got myself a bit of junk in the old trunk. Um, it was just that perfect kind of female figure hugging dress. So yeah, the red dress, I loved it. And it was a big hit on the night. The fashion trend that you will never see me wear again is Lycra because I made the mistake at my 21st birthday party of wearing, and I am not exaggerating, I'm actually crying thinking about it, a turquoise lycra jumpsuit. It was beyond shocking, and no, you will never see, well I might show you a sneaky photo, so you will never see me ever in lycra. One, the boss is hot. The boss here is hot, it's, it is a bonus. Uh, two, the selection, and you guys know this at home, you know, when you go online, there's just so much choice with eye clothing and so much choice for every kind of occasion. And then I think number three, for me personally, because I am a comfort -y kind of person, I find that the clothes are really comfy. I've had many a fashion disaster, but one that definitely springs to mind is Podge and Raj made me wear all leather head to toe on one of the shows and I think we were interviewing Daniel O'Donnell's sister and Joe Dolan. Why they made me wear this I'll never know but there is unfortunately a photo of the internet. I feel like my favourite fashion decade is now. I think up to now there's been a few uh, dodgy years. I never did the flares. I might have succumbed with the double denim but yeah I like fashion now. 2020, I think it's at its best because it's comfy. Like this dress has pockets. I think we're bringing comfort into fashion now. The item of clothing that makes me feel powerful but also is a serious necessity is Spanx. I love them and I cannot recommend them enough for anybody who's wearing anything tight. It gets rid of the orange peel on your bum and thighs. It pulls in your tummy. And I think that I think that as a woman, when you when you feel like you look well, you're at your most powerful. So whatever it takes to help, a bit of a scaffolding under a dress is a brilliant idea. So I think, yeah, Spanx. My personal style in three words would be comfy, um, floaty. I do like floaty and rock chick does that even make sense that would be i think my style because i like leather i like leopard skin as well there's a bit of a cat in me but i'd say yeah comfy floaty and rock chick maybe callum best i lived with callum best i did living with lucy with him crikey maybe 10 years ago i think his dad had just passed away he wasn't in a great place but I thought I'd fancy him more than I did when I met him. But I think that happens, you know, with celebrities that it's the, the perception of them versus the reality is sometimes different. And I didn't realize that he was the same age as my younger sister. So maybe that kind of put me off a bit. Must have fashion items for spring, summer would have to be floaty maxi dress. You cannot go wrong. I would say some comfortable sandals and a big bag. I have lots of fashion hacks. Obviously, at times I have invested in some good chicken fillets. And then what I do is, if it's kind of like a red carpety kind of walking in a bit, stick in the chicken fillets and then I bin them in the ladies when I go inside. Um, I have most of the time overindulged at dinner. 
So I, if I was going out for a nice meal and I know my trousers are too tight, I undo the top button and I make sure I've got a long jacket to hide the bulge. I've learned so much from my children. Um, they're now 10, seven and three. I think most of all, and we all kind of have, you know, bad days where you just feel a bit, hmm, kind of a bit of a heavy heart. I think what, what I'm constantly learning from my children is just finding the fun in everything. And children have this amazing ability just to make every day an adventure. So I think they kind of lighten the mood and they, they show me every day just how to make life an adventure. So a wedding abroad, I would probably wear a bright pink bikini. No, I wouldn't. To a wedding abroad, I would wear a floaty light maxi dress and sandals, maybe like wedges and big bag, big glasses, small spanks. I'm not very good at telling jokes. I generally kind of go with the punchline first or I, I forget it. But one joke I do remember, and I have a feeling it was at one point for me, a chat up line, and it is this. It's simple, but I don't think you can go wrong. A horse walks into the bar. The barman says, why the long face? Okay, can you tell me what Okay, it didn't work on you guys, but it has, it has in, in the past, in the very past like 20 years ago.